So we have two equations. I'm sorry, two variables. And we want to identify the values of a and b that mark our function differentiable. Remember, if a function is differentiable, we talked about our notes last week, is the function has to be continuous, right? If its function is continuous, that means the limit from the left is equivalent to the li limit to the right, correct? Um, so what we're going to first do is you can see that our discontinuity here um, is at two, and neg at 2 and 2. So therefore, let's check dip, um, continuity. So I'm going to say the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to a times x cubed has to equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x squared plus b. But we're evaluating these when x is going to be equal to 2. So do a times 2 cubed equals um, 2 squared plus b. We say 8a is equal to 4 plus b. Now again, we have again we don't we can't solve for our values because we have two variables. So we have to set up a another equation. Um, and again, the limit can the limit can um, be equal, but um, the limit can be the same, but there still can be a discontinuity such as like a hole or something, right? So therefore, to check if they're differentiable, we want to make sure the derivative from the left is equivalent to. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you could the derivative from the left is equivalent to the de derivative to the right. So because um, again, you could also think of like an absolute value. You could find the derivative from the left and from the right, right? It's continuous. An absolute value function is continuous, right? From the left and from the right at 0, does the function approach 0? Yes. yes. So this function, the limit is equal to the limit to the left and to the right. But it, does the derivative equal from the left and equal to the right? No. no. So when we're finding the values that a function is differentiable, we want to check continuity first, and that gave us our first equation. Now we'll check the um, derivative on both sides. And I'll just use the limit, because we're going to use left and right hand limits. So now I'm going to check the limit from the left hand side, but I'm going to take the derivative. Sorry, from the left hand side, that's going to be 3ax squared has to equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the positive of equal to 2x. Does everybody see? So now I just took the derivative of each function. Yes? Can I write anything else in the derivative? No, I mean, you could have wrote another step of like the limit as the writing the derivative, but I'm just saying that those two are equal to each other. So I'm just checking now the, the left and right hand limits are equal. Um, but you could have absolutely wrote like taking the derivatives above that. Then let's just double check to make sure, again, we're checking at A. So that becomes 4, so that's 12a equals 4. So now I have two equations, right? And they're asking the question, though, is what is the values of a and b that make the function differentiable? So I need to solve for a. a is equal to 1 third. Then solve for b. I rewrote 4 as negative 12 over 3, because you guys agree with me that negative 12 divided by 3 is still negative 4. But now they have common denominators, so I get a negative 4 thirds equals B. Yes? 